Hello, this is Daniel with Boss C351 Productions. This is the follow-up video that I promised you on the, the video I posted earlier this week on how to uh, basically replace the switch once it goes out. Um, what I found is internally it didn't break. What it is is there's two screws that go through the through the the assembly and one point where the screw attaches the face of it had broken the other screw was firmly still attached but what happens is uh your rear differential will lock up and the only way to get it off if it's not broken too badly is to press in on the broken side of the switch which you know makes contact in the back which turns it off so what i've done I've, I've looked into this looked across several message boards about this this seems to be a common problem with this switch design and what i've, I've developed is three different ways to get this thing out uh, the first and the hardest is to remove the console to get down here to a screw in in the lower assembly you have to get that screw out. I think you're going to have to take out two screws up here up top to get this panel out just so you can press the three tabs on the back of the switch to, to pull it out of the dash. The second way will work, and it will be the easiest way if you do not have this trailer brake switch. You can reach way up under here by the accelerator paddle up through the dash and you can actually grab the back side of this switch and release the tabs to get it out. You cannot do it if this is in the way. I can reach the connector in the back of the switch, but I cannot I can't undo the connector and I can't reach the tabs. The easiest way for me to do it, and what I've done, is I take and I broke off the end of this switch. You can see it, it was held on here and held on here. And that's that's the only thing holding this face in that switch assembly. So once I broke it off, it it gave me the the availability of the three tabs. There's a tab there, there's a tab there, and there's a tab there. So what I did is I held on the side of the the switch itself and pulled pulled a little outward pressure on it and then released each tab one at a time. And what that does releases the switch comes out and voila there's the connector that is easier for me to do uh, you just got to be careful control your your motions with the screwdriver and, and the end of the plug so you don't gouge out your dash but uh, I'm, I'm about to replace the switch once i get done with this video it should work just fine i mean this is a Ford part I got off of Amazon from a Ford dealer. Uh, it was $22 I paid for expediting, expedited shipping and got it uh, two days after I paid for it. But this is not a Chinese knockoff. It's not, it's, it's the original Ford part, OEM replacement part. So I appreciate you watching my videos. I, I try to work hard and, and show you the ins and outs that I can find. I don't always go by the book, but uh, I've got another video coming up here probably this weekend. If it doesn't rain too much, maybe next weekend. I've got a new set of uh, step rails for my, for my truck. Uh, I got them at a great deal off of eBay. Uh, brand spanking new. I used uh, one of eBay's coupons and got, got some money off of it, but I, these step rails are normally somewhere around $350 to $400, and I got them for $250. So you guys, if, if you follow my videos, please do subscribe because that helps me in the long run, helps me, helps me with YouTube. But uh, if you keep your eyes open, I will, I will put it up, uh, try to give you a complete install from uh, start to finish. But this is Daniel with Boss C351 Productions.